All right, pops. Hey, to a to a great great week, a great episode. If you're listening to this, make sure you got your coffee. But if you don't have a coffee and you got an energy drink, then we're gonna do this with y'all. Three, two, one. A Tosa Live Podcast, baby. The most authentic, most organic podcast. They tell us everybody, it tells everybody hearing us, so we're gonna take a little sip. Ah, we don't miss a Monday. We will not ever miss a Monday, and that's because of you guys. We're here. Another we week. Made it. <laughs> we, right. made it. we made it. We made it. We week. made it. We survived. If you're if you're hearing this, you survived another week. You survived the weekend. And this is a positive episode, as we always are. If you're listening to this. Be proud of yourself. You made it. I'm proud of us. I know we've been struggling on our own, and we're here. True. True. And we're True. back. <laughs> That's right. We're back and Man, we're better. We're back and we're better. Yes, sir. Man, let's get right into <clears throat> this. How y'all, how my brother's doing? Surviving. <laughs> what the fuck I'm surviving. <laughs> we bro. doing. We doing. We're doing it, man. Life is, we're in a season. I, I do want to shout out, I mean, we're celebrating, this, this is a special month. Mm-hmm. Mental Health Awareness Month. Yeah. Yes, sir. So that's what we're about. That's what we've always been about. So for everybody right now struggling, just know you're never alone. I'm surrounded by my brothers today, and weekly, daily, we're in a conversation. And, man, just mental, mental health check-ins. That's what I believe this one will be about because didn't really know, right, where we're getting into a little bit, but mental health check-ins. Mm-hmm. So... If there is, for the ones listening to us right now, do you guys have, like, a message that you, we, can, we can share with them that has helped you guys personally throughout the week? And even if it's made a little progression, it still helped. So, sheesh. Um, on the mental health thing, right, obviously? Yeah, something, like, to, to help, help somebody struggling, looking forward to the next day. Like, I, I know we don't have great days. I know maybe today's... Whoever's listening to this may maybe had a rough morning or a rough couple of days or a rough week, you know. But how we said before we started this, it's not a rough, it's it's not a rough life. It's just a rough I was just season. about to say that. I was just literally yeah. I was about to say yeah. that. I took it. Same, Damn. same. No, same. no, 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 for real. It's because we're was, I was gonna say, don't let a temporary moment let you think you have a crappy life. There you go. There I you love go. that. I was gonna Hell say yeah. it's not a rough life, it's a rough moment, you know? But um yeah, for those of you that think that you guys hit rock bottom already or that you guys are in rock bottom, you guys have no option left or anything, like you said, you have brothers out there that, can, that love you. You guys have family members that, that love you. Yes, sir. Don't be afraid to ask for help, you know? It's okay to ask for help. That's the right thing to do. That's the only thing to do once you're down. Ask for help. And don't forget about those people that helped you out in those hard moments too. So, yeah, pretty much. When you said rock bottom, what do we consider rock, rock bottom? Oh, my, my rock bottom should be different from y'all's. I'll okay, so. Everyone's rock bottom is different. Yeah, all right. So I'll start off, and then if you're, again, this this is about you guys, man. You guys are the ones that have us going weekly, daily. So if you haven't, please keep subscribing, keep following, because this is amazing what's going on. But rock bottom, you comment down what you believe is your rock bottom. But honestly, for mine, I want to say rock bottom for me is, when everything is going great, but nothing feels good. Everything is going correctly, but I'm not proud of anything. It's a moment to be happy and, and be in, in a cel- celebratory moment, but I'd rather just cry because I feel so empty inside. And trying to figure out why I'm here. Why, why, why is everything going on that's so great and I'm fucking empty? Like I'm mad. Like, I should be happy right now, but I'm not. That's my rock bottom. Trying to figure out this amazing moment we're in, yet it's not amazing to me. But to others, it may be. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, we'll get into those how to get out of this soon, but then it starts off right there. What's your rock bottom? Um... 
my personal rock bottom um, would be when I'm most comfortable in life. You know, my rock bottom is where I'm most comfortable. I don't seek for more. I don't seek for a better me. And I'm just comfortable where I'm at. That's my rock bottom. Because you don't go anywhere. You don't go up. You don't go down. You stay there where you're at. Yeah. You know, you're happy with the bare minimum and this and that. So for me, that's rock bottom. Obviously, like we said earlier, it's not it's not a rough life, just a rough moment. Yeah. And there's obviously going to be moments in life where you're you're down, you know? But for me, rock bottom is where you're happy being comfortable with. And you cannot be comfortable in life. You cannot be comfortable in life because the moment you're comfortable in life, you're okay with the bare minimum. You're okay with your 9 to 5 until you're 60 years old. You're okay with just living life, not expecting anything out of it, you know? Mm-hmm. And I feel for me, that's rock bottom. So, so it's my turn, right? Yes, sir. Well, hold on. I think Casper's next. Skip. Skip. Fuck Skip. Casper. I think my rock bottom is feeling lonely, even though I have a lot of people that care about me. Mm. These past couple of weeks, like, I've been trying to put up, a, like, a face. And I don't know why. I really don't. It's like I've just been feeling lonely, even though there's, like, a lot of people around me. I got you guys by my side. I got my family by my side. I don't know. I just, like, I feel alone. And I don't know why. I've been trying to, I guess, figure out why. I don't know. I just, I really don't know. That's coming from somewhere. I know. And I'm I trying to it. figure that out. Not a, and, and we see it. And, again, it, we're all... When you be you get into a moment and you come you come around a certain amount of people, those people may be going through something, right? And I, right now, off the of camera, I just I just shared with you something personal, where you know you're not you're gonna have everybody around you still feel so fucking empty, so lowly, yeah. Like who the fuck is gonna help me? And you have all these hands reaching out. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here you are. I got you. But the only the only hand that I feel like we always wanted and needed but never accepted it is, like, power above. Getting into a position where hey, it's not it's, – this is not nothing figuratively, nothing uh, that's attainable, nothing that we can actually touch anymore. It's something that's above, right? And it's – we're not gonna we're not gonna sit here in front that oh don't worry about it bro we'll get you out of this we, it's easy yeah no because it's sometimes it's not easy sometimes most of the time it's not easy but we're gonna put up a front and act like nothing not, like everything's okay why because we got to keep moving and because people depend on us that is why that's why I'm gonna put up a front because I know the person next to me right there is looking up to me and I need to do this but then who got me. Right, that question. That's that's right? that's the thing, bro. And we're all similar on that. People like us don't have people like us, you know. And we, everyone needs someone at the end of the day. And we're those type of people that are always there for everyone else. Yeah. But at the end of the day, no one's there for us, you know. Is like, it? But do you guys think it's it's because? I mean, you want me to tell like, you something? Like straight up on the spot right now. Be blunt, fool. What the oh, hell? hell yeah. I might I'm beat you up. No matter what, I might beat you up after this, but fucking let's do it. Um, we all have something very similar, very very similar, and that's why we're all always, you know, in harmony with whatever we do, and we're all pillars to something in our lives. That can be you can be the pillar of your family. I can be the pillar of my family. We're battling a battle that is not for us, but for someone else, and we're keeping it up for them. You know, and that's draining the fuck out of us, bro. But we have no other option to fight that battle. You know, and I see that I see that in you. You say you feel alone and that you're. In other words, you feel lonely and de- and depressed. I can say right. You feel you feel pretty sad at this moment. I'd say at this moment, yeah, yeah, because you've been holding up that pillar for someone else or for everyone else but yourself. And we're not selfish people, bro. We're we're really not selfish people, and we like to help other people out. But at the end of the day, you have to put yourself first, bro. Yeah. And it's hard to put yourself first because I had this. I have had this personal too. It's like 
okay, I I can say I don't give a fuck about anyone but myself. But at the end of the day, that's not who you are. That's not who I am. You know. Yeah. And do, it just. Do you guys think we like at one point like we gotta be selfish, like a tiny bit? Yes, but this is the thing. When we're a tiny bit selfish for us, that's when we get the judgment. That's when we get that, oh, you only think about yourself type of people. The people that we've been holding up that pillar for. So how do, but how do, so how do we handle that, too? <clears throat> I want you to be selfish. I want you to start looking after you. Yeah. I want you to take care of you. And excluding everybody else's feelings, as much as it sucks, as much as it hurts, yeah. your feelings matter first. Because how can you take care of these people that depend on you when you're literally on the verge of, of quitting? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, how do you become selfish? And when you become selfish and get that judgment, what's this for you personally? I know this is something that it's, it's just a self-healing type of journey now. But if someone else would ask you this, if I'm asking you this, what would you tell me? Dude, I, I don't even know. I wouldn't even know what to say. Mm. I wouldn't even know where to begin because <laughs> I've, I've never been selfish, so I wouldn't even know how to start to be selfish. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's I can't give you advice on how to be selfish and prioritize yourself when I've never done it myself. That part. Mm-hmm. And and that's exactly why, like, that's exactly, like, why we are who we are because – I tell a lot of, like, I've taught a lot of, like, I can't really tell you how to do this because like, I've never personally gone through that, right? I can, I can sympathize, I can understand, but in reality, like, I can only tell you so much. Yeah. But I can sit here and tell you, bro, believe in your dream and fight for your dream. Believe in yourself and fight for yourself. No matter what happens, no matter how, how shit is played out, you have to fight for you. You know what I'm saying? No, man. Look, guys. Everybody that's hearing us right now understand that you have always friends that come in late. Uh huh. You have friends that always yeah. show up late. No matter no matter the, the time. It could be early. Ooh, Ooh. Say, say less. Say Forgiven. less. Forgiven. Forgiven. Never Forgiven. mind. You're Forgiven, good. Bro, yeah, Forgot yeah. everything. You're right on time, actually. Right on time. Yeah. <laughs> Bam. Oh, Thank you, sir. Sorry, fool. <laughs> Never mind, he's not forgiven. We can share. We he's can not forgiven. Right, we can share this one. He's not forgiven. Here he's we are, not forgiven. I think you go. Look at Damn, is he coming in oh, right away? With, oh, with the energy drink. Like with the prime. You're not, even on, you're not even on the camera. Uh, that's a homie Logan, right? Mm-hmm. Yo, Logan, sponsor a Toast to Life podcast. Damn, right there. Keep the conversation going, Dylan. Let's go. Let's go. Where are we at? Where are we at? Being selfish. Being selfish. How can you be selfish? What Honestly, bro. You give somebody who you you know me, bro. And I've, I've, I told you my struggle is literally off the of camera right now, bro. And what he was saying, we can we can only we can only help so much, bro. Like I told you, my struggles right now off the of camera. There's no way you can relate to my struggles. I can't. But like you you always you always help me out. Right now you were like, bro, like. You can always get to it. You can always do this. You can always do that. <coughs> and that's what friends are for, bro. Someone that's what friends are for. You're asking me right now for selfish advice? Bro, I'm young as fuck, dude. You know me. I'm young as fuck. I'm barely 23, my guy. And I'm barely learning that right now. And I thought about it before. I'm like, how the fuck did I get into this? I wouldn't call it selfish, but in like me type of journey in a way, you know? And it's... What makes you feel good at the end of the day? And you might say, oh, helping others might feel you, make you feel good and, and all, but it's just temporary, bro. You helping others right now, like how you are right now, you feel empty, bro. Helping out all these people and no one is there for you. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you got you, bro. You have your responsibility to take care of yourself and your happiness. And you got you to gotta fucking do that shit at the end of the day, man. Asking the guy that came in fucking late, but <laughs> shout out to our shooter, photographer, trainer, alcoholic, uh, pourer over here. <laughs> <laughs> but hold on, I had that one on mute. There it is. Now he can. We good. Come on, that's Jose. Welcome, welcome. You got everybody's late in this world today. It's all. Okay. It's okay. Don't worry. But everybody's here. Um. How are you, Jose? Long time no see, bro. Hey, we're off preps, you know what that means. 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. No, nah, I've been good. I've been good. Um, what was it, three weeks? Almost yeah, three almost, weeks. Right? Yeah, yeah, three weeks. I have no idea. Bro. Yeah, it was actually telling you, shout out Ponce. You're getting right now. Nice. I was like, I haven't seen this one in about three weeks. Yeah, I was, I was ghost. I was go ghost for like when I'm on prep because I'm on low calories, uh, trying to make weight. And it's like, I just get in that mode like, all right, like, it's like let's shut the whole world out. Mm. Let me give, give this three to two weeks to myself because I need to focus. Since I'm always like, I have to be on that person like, yo, like, let me check up on you. Like, it, coincidentally, it went into the topic guys were talking about. Like, I had to be selfish to myself, right? So those two, three weeks, I just went ghost. And, uh, I mean, I'm good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm not glad it's over, but I'm glad that all that stress is gone. So now I'm looking to the next prep, and I'm here to have fun, you know? <laughs> he's like, he's like gonna gonna fun. Fun. He sounds like we're going in the interview Like yeah I'm glad I'm here I'm excited <laughs> to be a part of this And uh, yeah, I want to thank my mom, to, uh, I want to thank my dad we're, we're here to have fun for the next step And uh, so we're, we're going to go together Yeah, right. No, my man <laughs> <laughs> Nah but that, That's the thing about being, being selfish Following your dreams and I mean that's, it's kind of a topic that's like never ending Right because everybody's always wanting to be motivated Always looking for answers For solutions But a toast. Everybody a toast. A toast. A toast. Don't, toast. Be the, don't be a toast. Don't be the a homie toast. toast. The homie toast. The homie toast. All those guys that call me toast. 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 My name is Dusko. For everybody that doesn't know, but call me. For the beatbox is right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Turn around real quick again. Turn around real quick. That's right. Nah, I'm playing. Ah, the short short. Sanson is here too, but he's sure. over there. He's following over there. You want to get him real quick? I get him. I get him. Uh, but toast real quick. The homie toast. The homie toast. The homie toast. 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 Everybody there. Boom. Toast. Toast. This this episode here is a little out of everywhere to the right to your right, but bro, right now the world is is crazy. But I do want to bring up something that Dylan was actually talking that said earlier that when you become selfish in following your dreams, right? So I heard something today about dreaming. That was that way. <laughs> you always send out the, the, the Thank easy. God he's pretty I know, thank God okay, Dylan's yeah, pretty chale. Oh, he heard that <laughs> But um, we, we always get into a situation Coming, being Being who we are And being that mm, That odd person out there Where we get judged so fast For the moves that we make It may not sound promising It may not sound Sure, but how do we how do we help and how do we teach our <laughs> I'm fucking dead? Walk in, bro. Walk in. <laughs> he just went that way. <laughs> Didn't want to go look for you that way too. <laughs> Didn't went all around too, so he'll come, he'll end up coming back right now. Um, how do we how? How do we get over that stigma or that barrier? Walk in, come walk inside, in. Bro. Come, come inside. inside, come inside, come inside. You guys are wearing the same fit too. <laughs> This is, this is that healing type of podcast everywhere. That's <laughs> right. But um, to the to the question, I don't even know. I lost my fucking question anyway. But um, okay. So how do, how do we get over this barrier of of judgment? Because when we get judged, we usually end up stopping what we're doing because we want to make everybody happy. It's true. How do we get over it? I think it's uh. Easier said than done. It's just having that thicker skin. But the way you get that thicker skin is just trial and error and just keep doing it. Even though it's going to be hard the first time. Like, I was scared of being judged when I first wanted to be a personal trainer because I was that guy, like, oh, like, uh, he just likes to party and, like, oh, he didn't go to school for that. But, like, little did I know, I'm doing this on, on the side. Like, when no one knows, I'm doing it for free. I got my license and all that. But I was still scared of being judged. Like, hey, uh, hit me up if you guys want training. 
And little by little, I was like, hey, I'm, I'm promoting on social media now. That's that's all I do. Like, I mean, that's what I do for a living. You know? yeah. So yeah. But it was all through ty- trial and error and just creating that thicker skin. Because someone's always going to say something, regardless how successful you are or how, however you're not, right? But you just got to turn the other cheek. You just got to ignore that, you know? You want to turn the other cheek for me real quick? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. I just, hey, yo. I, 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 just oh, shit, yo. I heard, I heard, I, I do it for free, so I'm like. Mm-hmm. Uh, so cheeks for free, what? <laughs> it ain't for free. Hey, if it's free, it's for me. <laughs> I'm like, well, she's in the restroom right now. Let's talk shit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I think you're always going to get judged. Yeah. Whether you're in the eyes of the public or even off of social media. Your friend group. Your friend your group. The family. And shout out Jose uh, from San Diego. Not these Jose's right now. But um, I think one thing that he did say in that podcast is it judgment hurts when it comes from some of the closest people in yeah. your life, in your circle. And you got to maneuver through that. And, I mean, it could be like – Hey, your parent wanted you to be a teacher or a doctor, but you decided to be a musician or you decided to be an art major, and they they just can't handle that. You know what I mean? Or even uh, we're hearing today, like, go to a four-year, get a degree, because a degree will help you. And it does. Depending on your career, go ahead, power to you. But if it's not in you, it's not for you. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, if it's not in you, it's not for you. There's a a lot of successful people that don't have degrees, but just the work is double. That means you got to have that work ethic. You don't need a degree to make money. And the main goal, obviously, to be happy, but to make money to support yourself and your loved ones. All I got to say. Facts. For girls girls on the street, so we can go make money. Damn. (laughs) But okay, so, so you guys are quiet. Like, come on, handle it. Let, let's let's well done, give them what. Oh, little sip. Oh, never mind. A big sip. Big okay. Sip. <laughs> well, how um, do how do you handle that judgment then? I was, I took an Uber for the first time in a while today in the morning. Okay. And um, <laughs> he's like, "Hey, yo." <laughs> um, the Uber guy recognized us. Well, recognized me from the podcast. And he was, he was listening to Steve Harvey and this and that. And um, he was talking about our mentality. He was like, okay, like, his kids have degrees on this and that. He goes, but I don't see a difference between my kids having the mentality of being a doctor and having the mentality of you guys doing social media. And I'm like, I'm here trying to, like, figure out what the hell he's trying to say, you know? I'm like, oh, okay, like, I'm just agreeing with what he's saying. He goes, you guys' mentality are the same. I'm like, okay, maybe maybe he's not going somewhere. I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, just agreeing. I'm in the backseat like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sir. Um, yeah. Agreed. He goes, at the end of the day, if you put your mind into something and your mentality is to hustle and to grind and to get that fucking bag, you will do it. Yeah. He goes, a lot of you youngsters. Homeboy was like 64, bro. Bro, I was, I was fucking surprised somebody didn't get a heart attack while he was hey, driving. he's 64 huh? but doing Uber. I'm pretty sure bro, that's on the side. Dude, too. that motherfucker was fitter than me. <laughs> dude, like. It's. But work. the mentality part about it, he's like, he's like, many people now your age and this and that. He goes, they're just sitting down on the couch making excuses not to make money. He goes, they're on the phone twenty four seven, dude. You can make money off of your phone ASAP. Like yeah. it's just the mentality you want to have Facts. when you want to have it, you know? Yeah. So, what would you say, Pepe? How to deal with people judging you? How how did how do you deal with? Judgment I, I like I, I got just, way out of topic, yeah, but yeah. Dude, I'm yeah. like, hey, I'm sorry. Like, how, how, how do you feel about ta- Uber? You guys were talking so, about this. I, I had Uber to go this morning. How do, you, <laughs> how do you feel about Uber? <laughs> I had to go out looking for someone, so I lost myself. I was Uber. Like, where the fuck? That someone found himself right away. Shout out Ralph. Uh huh. Fucking guys, y'all wild him today, huh? No, just easiest way would be to block them. Just block them all together. A lot of the people that judge you or judge me in general or just judge all of you guys are on social media. I mean, it's a simple block. But when it comes to family and just friends judging you, I say uh, actually letting them know how it affects you. Because it, I would let it affect me for a while. I let a couple family members and their shit that they had to say, like, mess with me mentally. And then uh, we were sitting down one day and they were uh, telling me, why don't you go for it? Why don't you go for it? I'm like, dude... You're contradicting yourself. Like, you're telling me to go for it, but you're talking all this crap on the side 
So which one is it? So maybe just standing up to them and letting them know how it's affecting you. I think that's like a big step towards the right direction. Yeah. I, I mean, piggyback on what everybody said, it's just, it's that mentality, right? Yeah. That meant that journey that you're about to go on when you make that menta- that change of I got to be selfish, it's a lonely, it's a lonely journey because there's a lot of people that you were once w- were with <laughs> and when you go through this journey, you're going to lose a lot of these people. But it's okay. This journey wasn't for them. It's for me, though. And along that journey, you're going to end up meeting people and certain stops in that journey that are ready to come on and you're ready to hop on their, on their journey, too, because why? We're all going to the same destination. Yeah. We want, all want bigger. We all want better. It's tough, bro. It's not the easiest shit ever. This, uh, this what we're doing, or life in general, what we're doing, it becomes hard because the people you thought would support you the most are the ones that are left you the first. We're on a train. Some people just stop. Hey, hey whoa, stop. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hey, my oh, guy. My God. Hey, hey, yo. Yo. Take this one away. Take this one away. We're on a bus. We're on a bus. Hey, yo. You know I always make jokes out of everything, homeboy. Why would you say that? Take this one well. Take it well. We're on a bus, bro. We're let all let, let me, let me, Let me turn off that mic. Just be both of them. No, that what he's about to say. I've said it before. All right, say it. Say in, it in a say motivational it. way. Yeah. Say and it. This this is a train of success, <laughs> and it's gonna keep on going. True, Look true. Keep, keep going, keep going, keep going. going. I know, Twenty kids, year old, huh? kids, Twenty men, keep going. We're gonna talk about mentality. We're gonna talk about mentality. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. My bad. Stop. Man. It's because it was at a <laughs> random. He's like, "We're on the train." I'm like, "Hey, yo, what the fuck?" The train of success. You never been on it? Oh, my bro, I'm the conductor of that bitch. What do you mean? <laughs> Look at he laughs. The train is go for it, bro. Say go it. for it. Go. Continue. Continue your saying. story. Continue your story, homeboy. I think I was saying like different stops. I, I have no idea, bro. But nah, I we're think all going the same direction. Just it, it goes on that way. Like we're <laughs> all in. We're all in a on a bus or train of success. And either you hop on it mm-hmm. or it's going to keep on going no matter what. If I leave you behind, fuck it. It is what it is. I don't feel sorry for you not coming on this journey. You should feel bad for not hopping on it when you had the chance. And I was thinking about this on the way here. You're, if your friend or homie, family member starts a, starts a journey, a business, their life, they needed you at the beginning. Don't come on when that shit is up and running. True. At that right. point, they don't need you anymore because you were not there when this shit was building. You know what I mean? Right now, it's the structure is great. Back then, that shit was being built, and you weren't there. You don't deserve to be here anymore. Sounds like some true shit. Some famous ass fools. She doesn't remember oh, shit. Oh, oh. She. Hey, hey whoa. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay. She's I I ate those tacos. She didn't eat shit last night. Yeah, <laughs> we had tacos last night. No matches tú te comiste los dos, yo me quedé con uno. Are you ready though? I'm ready, bro. I'm ready to eat some tacos because I didn't eat them. Alright. So let, let's talk about when this is, this is a good topic, and it's going to be a funny one. Right. And sorry we took a little break, but we're here. We're back. When you know your friend is making the wrong decision, do you support it, or do you stop him oh, from it? Oh, shit. Wait. It depends. All right. You have to, you have to give, a, give a scenario. Give, give us an example. Yeah, because, give us a... All right. A so a very... I think this is a normal... Uh, not a normal, but this is a more frequent one. You're already at home with your friends, and you're drinking. Okay. And then one homie says, fool, let's go out. Let's go to the bar. <laughs> Bitch, you're, you're, you're looking at me, perro. What the fuck? <laughs> you're in my peripheral vision. <laughs> Do you support the decision or you just say, no, let's stay home? You're not a real homie if you don't. Thing, there's some things that... What time is it? Oh, what time is it? 10. Oh, fuck yeah, we're going out. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. How far is it? It don't matter. No, it matters. <laughs> yeah, it matters. Well, okay. right. we, we, 30, 30 minutes. No money. 30 minutes. I'm not driving to fucking Hollywood to catch 30 minutes. Oh God, bro. <sighs> 30 minutes. Like 30 minutes. It's going to take you 30 minutes or yeah. like. It's going to take you 30 minutes. Am I 30 minutes, we're good. Go, we're good. Though? We're good. 
Yeah, you're already, you're already, oh, yeah, I'm go. you're already having fun with your boys. Yeah, you I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Right, yeah, do we're it. going. Uh, if I don't got a shower, that's, that's called the pregame. Ready, then let's go. Then we're we're pregame. We're, 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 we're running. Right Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Just don't hit me up tonight because I ain't going out. So this this is what we call we're we're encouraging the bad behavior. So now we're, we're gonna switch this all shit up, it's dog. Good behavior because we save money from not drinking so much. Bitch, I drink. still drink. Yo, but I still fucking not, drink. It's not like we're going to the bar or club sober. And spending all that money. No, on that's drinks. the problem. If I were to go sober, I'll just buy like one or two drinks. Being shy, but motherfucker, I pregame it, bro. I'm like fucking five drinks in. And Say you are buzz one, two, three drinks, right? Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna want to keep going. I'm like Sasson's laughing at me. He knows. <laughs> he knows. Like, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know you too. That's why I'm saying that. <laughs> now, so the reason why I ask this, and, and and again, it is a funny. It's a funny fucking topic mm -hmm. because we've caught ourselves and and. We how we said at the beginning, we only talk from fucking experience. Dusko just Dusko looks at me, and goes, "Shut the fuck up, fool. shut the fuck up." Yeah, like you have one drunk friend, and be like, he's talking out of his ass, bro. Stop, dog. Dusko just, just goes, "Shut the fuck up, bro." You know me, I know you. You know, me. but you the, know that I know the you. The reason why I talk about this and the reason I bring it up is because we all get to a point of age that you know you're different, right? You're meant for you're meant for more. You cannot be making the same decisions as the person next to you because their their thought process, mm -hmm. their journey isn't where, where you're at. I agree. We talked about this right at the beginning, right yeah. before we the first part. He took three weeks away because he, he was on prep, and he had to do what he had to do. I was on now, prep this whole time, that, too. That, that, that guy, was, <laughs> yeah, we see that. But we get into a point where it's like, yo, when I'm on a journey, like you can keep doing what you're doing, but I'm going this way, and if I go this way, yo, it may be me. You're not coming with me because we're not at the same position in life anymore. So it goes into losing friends. It goes into losing family. It goes into but I wouldn't say losing. I'd say dropping. But you're losing them. It's still a loss. Yeah, but that's not up to you anymore. That's Losing is like, oh, like you're dropping them because it's a choice for you to make something bigger for yourself. And then they come back with, uh, damn, that will fucking change. Oh, you fucking changed. Oh, you think you're better than me now? No, bro. I just outgrew you. Like, what the fuck? Exactly. You know, I outgrew, outgrew you. You think you I was going to be the exactly. same motherfucker that I was with you? The same, like, bro. So it wouldn't even be, say, it wouldn't be <clears throat> your loss. It would be their loss. Exactly. You don't lose people. You drop people, bro. Mm. Just now, how, easy to, how easy is it to drop people? Not easy. Uh, it's not easy, but, you know, like we said earlier... You got to think about yourself. You got to put yourself first, bro. But when yeah. do you do that, though? Because some of these people have been the people you fucking grew up with. You see, it's not easy, but they make it easy. Depending on sometimes, how they sometimes how they fell off, you know, like sometimes they're, they're the ones that just drop themselves, bro, out of yeah. your life. Well, that's when it's good, though. That's when you wash. I'm like, you have nothing to do with it. <clears throat> your hands are clean, you know, zero guilt. So now do you respond to the negative comments? Do you feel a necessity to defend yourself? Mm -mm. There's nothing to prove for you, bro. Like I got nothing to prove to you, so I'm chilling, bro. I'm living my fucking life. Fuck you. I still read them. <laughs> I'm sorry. Or I still listen, read whatever. But it's just I did once, and then I felt like shit after because I felt bad. I mean, the, the viral video that I have on fucking that we have on yeah, bro. There's sixty percent out of it is like hate comments on it, bro. Have I replied to any of those fucking comments? Like there's thousands of comments. I don't give a fuck. Like I got nothing to prove to you. Like. I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, I really don't give a shit, you know? What do you have to prove to yourself? <clears throat> shit. Everything. The, literally, bro, everything that I'm capable of doing this, that I have the fucking boss to do this shit. And I don't just fail myself, bro. Like, at the end of the day, if I don't get done what it's supposed to be done, I don't just fail myself. I fail the people that are under me, my family, my parents, people that, in other words, rely on me or that, you know, support you in other ways because your parents support you no matter what. You know, obviously, let's say at the end of the day, this doesn't work out for us. Your parents were like, oh, I was there for you. You know, like I watched your stuff. My, You know, my dad, my dad always watches our stuff. Yeah. And it's like at the beginning, they were not, they were not okay. Well, not that they were not okay with it. They just didn't see the vision we had. And obviously, that's where the negative comments come like, oh, like, why are you going to waste your Saturdays or your Sundays over there when you can be with us, you know? Yeah. And that fucks you up mentally a little, bro. Because, like, damn, my own parents are telling me that this is not going to work out for me, you know? Yeah. But they don't see the vision we had. And we have a different vision because, like you said, God made us a specific way 
for people not to understand this because we're different, bro. We're fucking different. And you Fuck fucking know this shit. Eres un ídolo con su madre. Wow. So, yeah, bro, we're fucking yeah. different. People are not going to understand this. People are going to look at us like fucking weird. But that's the true good quality in life to be separate out of everyone, bro. If you follow, if you, if you go with the flow, bro, like they said, bro, only dead fishes go with the flow, bro. Only dead fucking fishes go with the flow. You got to go upstream, homeboy. Come on. Come on. We got to exactly. give it up. Come on. Come on. Come on. We got to give it up, dog. Let's go. Right He's spitting. <laughs> give me some more beatboxes. I talk like this. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> I can't like, Anybody else? That. <laughs> no. Next, next topic. That, that's, that's, the th- that's the part, right? Like, the vision is only meant for you, not for nobody else. And it does get lonely. It does. It does get hard. But at the end of the day, it's always worth it when you get to the position you once were or you are now. Where you once were is where you were, but you're not. You are who you are because you were there first. That's why we're here. <laughs> why is he fucking laughing? <laughs> why is he laughing? Es que me confundiste, güey. I was like, you were where you were. Now you're over here. <laughs> hey, I started like Jose Torres. The process is ain't processing, bro. I don't know. Yo, <laughs> yo estaba allá. Lejos de aquí. Pero ahora estoy allá. Y ayer estaba we, acá. We were, we were busting Pero ahorita estoy aquí. Pero puedo estar allá. Si no estoy aquí. Like, bro. We busted a Sansón. I was over there. Well, Sansón was over here. Pero he's in the same place. But you're not in the same place. Because you're in different places. I just couldn't help it. I had to laugh, bro. I was like, fuck. Yeah. Instead of getting that supportive friend. Hell yeah. Fool, say that shit. You're like... What? <laughs> Fucking Dylan calling you fuck? out though. I was just I gonna know. go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, bro. <laughs> it's because you were looking at me dead in the eyes, serious as fuck. I was ready. I was ready to be like, yeah, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. I was like, I gotta catch a slip at home, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you always gotta have good laughs, bro. That's the part of this whole thing. There's there was a question that came up on this week, and it's a tough one, dog. Oh, man, oh, man, it's oh, a man. very tough one. And we'll go, we'll go from Jose to Pepe to you, and then I'll end it. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Look at him. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Look, no. You always have that one friend that just never takes anything serious. I take shit serious. It's just I don't take this motherfucker serious. <laughs> <laughs> what is, what's one of your biggest regrets in life and why? Oh, shit. <clears throat> uh, I got to think about this one. I wouldn't say, okay, I, can, I can't say regrets, one, because I'm still, I would still say I'm kind of young, and two, everything happens for a reason, so I wouldn't say regret, but I would say I wish that I would have maybe, I guess, the courage to say no to my mom in certain situations and putting my life in a different place. I don't regret being in the position I, I am. I, I love being where I'm at right now. But maybe a couple years ago, I wouldn't have seen the vision or, I, or been grateful for where I have been at right now. So maybe I would say I wish I would have more courage back then to say, hey, I'm going to do this instead of doing this. That's something that you want instead of what I wanted. And I know it could have been more pur- purposeful at the time. But like I said, I don't have any regrets. I love where I'm at. And it's only up. Damn, I love that. Ah, two. I got two regrets. First one has to do with my dad. And so growing up, I wanted to like study art. That's always been my thing. Like I've always been the artistic kid, creative kid. And I wanted to pursue something in that field. He uh, he was like, nah, that's not going to go nowhere. Be a teacher, be a lawyer, be something, you know? The Businessman. Right. Yeah. yeah, something something more. Ideal. Yeah, conventional, I guess. So I didn't pursue that, what I really wanted to do. So that's one of my biggest regrets. Dang. And then one other one. One other one. You're laughing, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> keep that. Keep that no. in there. Keep okay. that in there. Well, well. Keep that in there. I'll, I'll, Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing, bitch? Hold on. I'm going to take the mic off of this one, though. 
You said, it's because I heard you wrong. When you said artistic kid, I heard you say Hey, be nice. <laughs> I was like, you, my God, what the fuck? Take this one off the camera already. Hey, cut him off. Mute his he's, mic right he's now. He's already fucked. I'm sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> Just cut his ass off. <laughs> my yeah, my, my mind's always working, bro. Just fuck. cut him off. Uh, the, the the second one what what was that i got i passed up a chance to be on a show with one of the i'm not going to say the name but one of those families shit and uh yeah i messed up looking back i should have probably done it so but wait like because you passed these things up you you didn't follow your your passion and your dream that you have had. You didn't pass out. You didn't take on the opportunity that you had at that moment. Yeah. Are you grateful for where you're at now, or do you know you should have been in a different position? I'm happy right now? with where I'm at now, but I mm. feel like it could have been a lot better had I taken one of those two chances. You know. Fuck, man. But like living. It's in, those what ifs, but those yeah. what ifs don't exist. It's because those what ifs never change anything, exactly. right? Like those what ifs that everybody has of, damn, I could have been this right here. I could have done that. Could have done that. And even in relationships, we could have been this. Yeah. But like, fuck, we, we were never Why? supposed to be there. Yeah. As, as much as it hurts, as much as it sucks, as much as it doesn't sound realistic, we were never supposed to be in that moment and never supposed to be in that place. It wasn't the plan. It, it wasn't the plan. for a reason. Yeah, the time it was wrong. Bro, as, as funny as it sounds, like, I always wanted to be police officer. <laughs> always. <laughs> Look at that. I told you. As funny as it sounds. Hey, this guy in a uniform. I see this motherfucker, <laughs> I see this motherfucker like Ronnie Coleman. This motherfucker Ronnie Coleman just fucking. Like <laughs> I see it. I see it. I'll still hey, drop your ass. Good, I see it. <laughs> fuck, I'll look at you. Uh, arrest oh, me, fuck. officer. <laughs> hey, whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to get away from this ticket? What you want to do? I'll be, like, I'll be like, officer, you sure there's nothing we can do? <laughs> hey, you know that? Oh, no, nah, bitch, I want a drink. Oh, like, that's mine. <laughs> I know, but oh, he's ready. mine's over there. <laughs> Bro's ready. <laughs> get, get, you, get your friends as that support you. That's fun, bro. Oh, shit. I'm stupid as fuck. But, <laughs> circle. I concur. But we're, as kids, we always dream of being this, right? We always want to be this. See, it wasn't me this time. What the fuck? We always want to be like, this. <laughs> like, but it, it's because we are influenced at such a young age that you need to be this in order to help us out to be here. You need to get to this position in order to help us get to this position. But in reality, and like as fu as fucked up as it sounds, fuck no, dog. I got to be where I want to be. I want to be in this place. Maybe you don't like it. Maybe she doesn't like it. Maybe he doesn't like it. But I got to fucking be there. Because at the end of the day, it fulfills me. I hate and I do not, not want to live a life empty where I'm not fulfilled. I'm tired of filling other people's cup. I'm tired of filling other people's cup and trying to fill mine at the same time. But it has a hole at the bottom of that fucking cup and it's never fulfilled because it's not true. Like, there's no base around that, that vision. There's no base around that, that lifestyle that's not mine. I'm tired. I'm, like, as much as I want, like, we said, I've said this a year ago, bro, more than a year. As much as I want to make you fucking happy, I'm sorry I cannot. I'm fucking sad. I'm fucking depressed because I've been fulfilling other people's cup, and I'm tired. I've had enough. It is what it is. It's my time. It's my selfish season. Whether you like it or not, I got to make myself happy. And if my vision and my dream, my lifestyle doesn't fulfill yours, then I'm, I'm sorry but not sorry. I got to go. That train of success is coming, <laughs> and it goes, keeps on going. That selfish season. Choo, huh? That <laughs> selfish choo choo choo. Because <laughs> it's stupid as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, I was about to choke. <laughs> hey, no, no, chill. Whoa, yo, all right, whoa. Okay, yo, all right, chill. Run it back. <laughs> whoa, run it back. Whoa. Because it's stupid. Round two, what? <laughs> hey, what? What? Yo. <laughs> but it, it's, it's that part. Being fulfilled in your own life. 
Like, we get to an age where, what are you going to do? Be fucking 35, 40 years old still fulfilling other people's dreams? And then you're going to be that, that old person that when they ask you, what do you always want to be? Oh, well, I always wanted to be this. But I never I mean, got You're just bitter. It. Like, you just end up bitter. And you can't be content with yourself and expect to flourish someone else in your life, maybe a partner or a friend. Like, you have to be okay with yourself and happy with yourself in order for you to help that other person that you care about. You know, like you just can't be bitter. And how, how you said, have an empty cup, you know? You got to have a full cup in order to, like, fill the other cup with your own water if you need to. Tequila, bitch. Shut the fuck up. I'm like, water. This motherfucker never has a cup at all. Water. It's beatbox with tequila with... It's a, it, it's, a, it's the yak. It's the yak. yak. It's called oh, the yak. Dude. I remember once you made me take that yak, I was fucking... Whoa! Pass over. Pass over. Where was it? Was it was it San Diego when I took the yak? I think so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was. was San Diego. It was. It was, it was nasty, too. It was like whiskey. It was, it was tequila. It was it was, it was uh, everything. Howlerhead whiskey. Howlerhead. Yeah. It was four locos. It was happy dad. Terramana. Terramana tequila. And we had a different Don Julio seventy. Don Julio seventy all in the cup and I, you made me chuck that bitch. <laughs> we, had <laughs> we had to leave. We had to leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here Wait. like I'm gonna spend less at the club. I was I still spent the same <laughs> shit. This is when you're under the influence, then you have no control of what your wallet does. <laughs> 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 All right, so one of honestly one one of the Jose. Oh fuck! Here you go. Pass that it around. Get... Pass it around. That's fucking, bro. What the hell is that? If there is, uh, oh shit, there there has to be a moment in in life where we get where we're just enough. It's I'm tired. That's it. Mm-hmm. It's a wrap. <clears throat> confident in who in who you are. Confident in yourself. So if you us sitting here, would you guys be able to describe who you are? If I say Dylan, who are you? Oh fuck. Um That's hard. That's that's fucking hard. I'm not gonna lie, that's hard. It's hard and it shouldn't be hard. I'm that's uh, the crazy part. Fuck. I don't even fuck. Never no one has ever asked me that shit. Uh fuck. I'm a I'm a young Hardworking, loving, chill dude. I don't fucking know. I wouldn't know how to tell you, bro. Hey. I'm like trying to get some fucking. I have no idea, bro. But yeah, shit. That's a good question, homeboy. What's the biggest fear you have? Honestly, if you, you know me well, bro, I I do. I I bro, I'll stand up to a motherfucker bigger than you. I don't got fears, bro. He's my right butt cheek. Yeah, bro, I'll stand up to a motherfucker bigger than this. I don't give a fuck. The only fear I have is literally, I have two fears, and they're inedible. In- inedible. No se lo pueden comer, güey. Inedible. Ya te pelo, güey, pero te. Slurring your words, huh? <laughs> I slurred my words no fucking way. Oh, edible arrangements. It's all it's yours now. Yak. It was the yak. It was the yak. Edible arrangements. All it's yours now. <laughs> you can't avoid them. You can't avoid these two things. I have the fear of getting old. I, 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 that's, you laugh all you want. I don't give a fuck. The fact that someone has to take care of me when I'm older, bro, that's fucking scary to me. My children have to take care of me if I have children. Like, you have to depend on someone. Like, that's fucking scary to me. Like, fuck, you know? And second of all is to not give my parents the life they've always wanted, you know? My parents, my parents, like, everyone has a different American dream, you know? And my parents' American dream is for me to be successful. You know, it's not, oh, I come here, um, I live lavish as fuck and this and that. Like, my parents don't give a fuck about material things. And I was telling, I was, I, I, who was I telling this? I was telling this to someone earlier. Um, one of my biggest fears is not fulfilling that gap of what my parents expect me to do, you know? And like I said earlier, bro, I'm the pillar of the fucking family right now, and I have to keep that shit up. And I'm going through a lot of shit right now. I'm not going to lie. I'm literally going through a lot of shit right now. And I can't I can't fall. I can't crumble right now, bro. I really can't crumble right now. 
Um, yeah, you see me fucking partying. You see me, you know, out this and that. But that's just a distraction of what I'm have to do at the end of the fucking day. You know, like shit. I don't know, bro. Like fuck. That's one of my biggest fears to not give my parents the house that they've always wanted to not <clears throat> to not fulfill the expectations my parents have for me, you know? And you know my family, bro. My my brother has a family. My sister has her family. The only one, like the only one that can literally get us out the good is right now is me. And I'm not saying my brother can't do it. I'm not saying my sister can't do it, but they just have responsibilities on top of responsibilities. And the only one that doesn't have children or anything is me. Wait, wait, what the fuck did I say? What the fuck did I say? Oh, shit. How do we pivot so far from how would you describe yourself, bro? I I avoided that question because I didn't want to answer it. I was like, fuck. I I fucking steered away from that shit. Fuck no. But no, no, he he brought up another question after that. He brought the the biggest... Your deepest fear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What of your deepest fear? That's a lot. That's that's one of my biggest fears, bro. Two big questions. That like, not, not fulfilling those shoes that you you think you exactly. You need to be like, I can give a fuck if I sleep in my car at the end of the fucking month, yeah. but that my parents have their house, they live good. I'm straight, bro. Get to that part. I'm fucking yeah. straight. Can you say who you, who would you describe yourself as? If I ask you, who is Jose? <coughs> no. A work in progress. Oof. Jose is ever changing. Jose is trying to improve every day. That's all I can say about Jose. Jose number two. <laughs> I call him Bose. Jose. He's Jose. He's Bose. Why Bose, Bose bitch? Bose. I don't know. <laughs> He's He's Bose. <laughs> Bose, there you go. Can you describe who you are? Uh, I feel... A fucking maniac, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Cut it. Wrap it up. Wrap it up right there. <laughs> fucking guy. He answers all the questions. Fucking maniac, bro. <laughs> Shit. No, I, honestly, I feel like some few words would be <clears throat> leadership, introvert, introvert and extrovert, entrepreneur, in a way of like doing the things that needs to be done in order to survive mm-hmm. and to get ahead. Because at a very young age, I've always figured things out to do in the way to support someone else, to, even if it's my little brother, my mom. Even if I had to pay, like, as minimum as five Wait, you have siblings, bro? Huh? You have siblings? Yeah, bro. I didn't know this motherfucker had siblings. I have a little brother. I didn't know you had siblings. Hey, that's how introvert I am. (laughs) Bro, this motherfucker never said anything. I have a a little brother and a half-sister. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't know that shit. You just never asked, man. Yeah, I didn't know. No, I've asked them before. I'm pretty sure I've asked them before. you haven't. Maybe when we're drunk, but I don't know. What the fuck? I thought you were an only child, bro. You give only child advice, bro, boy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean, yeah, like, just, I feel like I'm a, I'm a leader in a way because um, <laughs> <laughs> I wear short shorts. I wear short shorts. Uh, they made fun of my short shorts, bro. That's why he's not you wearing them. He's going to have cake, that's why. That's why they make fun Hey, hey, nah, I'm going to shut nah, the fuck up. I'm not up. even going to say that. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's keep conti- let's continue the conversation. <laughs> I was going to say something. Check out his last TikTok. That's all I'm going to say. No. <laughs> Just keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> Why the fuck are you guys laughing? I don't know. Why are y'all laughing? I don't know. All right, let's continue with the, with the leadership part of it. <laughs> the what? The fuck? He's, he's, what? He said the he leader, was a leader. Leadership. He called himself a leader. <laughs> he called himself a leader. I'm like, all right, go for it, homeboy. Pop off. <laughs> pop, pop, pop. pop off, bro. There we go, I, know, I just feel like I was in leadership since I was like in football, I guess. So. Yeah. All right, so so for y'all that don't know, we went to the same high school. We're the same age. <laughs> I never knew this motherfucker existed in my high school at all. Because he played soccer. I was the captain of the soccer team. This fool was. I was the captain of the football team. <laughs> Oh. I was not cut. What the fuck? I was not cut. Hey. I coached him, so I know hey, he wasn't was the captain. I was not cut, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Oh, he didn't have grades. I, I was very smart. Just no school. grades. I just didn't have grades. <laughs> no, I didn't have grades. What was it? My sophomore, was sophomore year? No. no. What uh, kind of a captain were you? My junior. By example, <laughs> boo. I lead by example, perro. <laughs> no, I think my junior year, I fucked around my junior year too much. No. Yeah, it was my junior year, you know? 
Our choices. Something. I just, I fucked around way too much and I didn't get my grades up, so I couldn't play soccer. Damn. Oh, we, but we, uh, all, we all that homie, though. Homie, uh, take too much. The homie that don't stop drinking. No, that, that was not, that, okay, that was one not more. alcohol. That was, that was something <laughs> else. We, we, we got that homie that, that was nah, a, fool, I'm good, fool. I could drive, fool. <laughs> <laughs> the homie that, I can still stand up straight, fool. The homie, I'll, I'll give you a four fool. right now, fool. <laughs> the homie is, a, I'm still good, fool. He, he's more drunk than me, fool. <laughs> is that Dylan or what? <laughs> Talking about me? <laughs> Talking about Dylan. <laughs> Hey, I'm straight. Dylan is one of those that. I'm good, I'm good. Dylan is one of those that he just looks at you. I'm good, fool. Once I'm not looking at you, you know. <laughs> oh, oh dude, bust, the, bust the Jose, bust the Jose, bust the Jose. My glasses? Oh, yeah. Jose always has his glasses. Yeah, his all right, though. so everybody watching, thank you guys for still staying, staying mm-hmm. around, but let me bust the Jose, fool. <laughs> his glasses are low? Super low. Yeah. He just looking at you like, I'm good, fool. What's up, fool? Hey, hey, San Diego, hey, we need to run it back. Hey, adios, fool. Adios. <laughs> hey, fool. I'm better, fool. I could do that, fool. <laughs> Okay, fool. The funny thing is that you end up getting fucked up. <laughs> I house. know. No matter what, no matter how, but if you guys are staying this long, bro, I appreciate every single one of you guys for tuning in, everybody for subscribing, following. At this moment that we're recording this right now, we're at 67,000 on Instagram. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Growing, about to hit 14K subscribers on YouTube. And for some of them, some of you guys – May think, oh my God, that's that's not a lot, bro. It's not. Hey, when you put your life and soul into a project, and the project mm-hmm. is coming to life, any win is it's the best win. A year ago, like, yeah, a win. A year ago, we we're at a thousand subscribers. A year ago, a year ago, we we're at a thousand subscribers. Yeah, and we're making some noise. So, but we haven't. We don't make this type of noise without all of you guys. How about the downloads? Damn, bro, oh, downloads. Bro, the downloads are Ooh. good. As fuck. I saw that number. Oh man, the, the, Down- weekly, the weekly downloads are I mean, YouTube said amazing. Hey, downloads, <laughs> look, downloads, you guys are amazing. Apple, Spotify, wherever you guys are listening to this, in the last 30 days, we hit 40,000 subscribers. So, downloads. But we hit a very, we hit a milestone. We have a quarter of a million downloads on audio yeah. this time. Right. So, I got to give it up to all of you guys. The team that's out here, the, you guys, my guys, and everybody watching and subscribing and listening. Without you guys, again, we're, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be doing this. True. But here's the question. And this will go from Dylan, uh, from Dylan down this way. Are you holding on to something that you need to let go of? I don't think so. I I don't I don't I just I don't I don't think so I, I I honestly don't think so. Fear, it's held me back. It keeps holding me back. I feel like I'm in the same boat with Dylan. Um, I'm not holding on to anything. I'm just so eager and looking so far in the future that I need to maybe bring it back and be in the present a little bit more. True. Uh, yeah. True, true, true. I don't... <clears throat> it's not that I don't hold on to things because there's things you need to hold on to, you know? Um, emotions and stuff like that, obviously. Yeah. But it's just... I don't... My my mind is somewhere else where I can't focus on that right now. On shit that I need to hold on to because it's, it's, it's in the past, bro. It's in the past. I'm living the present right now. I cannot be living the past. So... If it doesn't affect me right now, it's just, it's back there, bro. It's, you know? Yeah, I just feel like we're, stu- I mean, at least for myself personally, and I could speak for the podcast as well, that we're just scratching the surface. Mm-hmm. And that we're just so, so eager to just think about the future and what ifs and the, like, we need to do these steps to get here. But sometimes, hey, let's, let's focus on the right now, right? And nice. then just do what we got to do mm-hmm. and go day by day. Hell yeah! When you're driving, bro, you don't you don't look at the at the rear mirror, bro. You look at the windshield. Yep. If you keep looking at the rear rear mirror, bro, you're gonna end up crashing. You're gonna fuck up your future looking at the past. So, yeah, yeah, exactly, homeboy. That's that part, <laughs> sir. Now this one, I hope it makes you guys take a second and take it in. Think about this: If today was your last day of life, would your plans for the day be different? 
Mm. Yes. Mm. What would you be doing? Hanging out with the people that mean the most to me. And I'm not saying you guys don't mean a lot to me. But I'm just saying I would be spending it with my mom, 100%. Uh, my sister, because even though we have our moments where we don't get along, she's still one of the most important people to me. Mm. And then uh, my two nieces and my one nephew. So those would be the people I'd be spending my time with, my last minutes, seconds, whatever. Let me up this question a little bit better, and please answer this. Yeah. If today was your last day, would you be happy with your life? <clears throat> no, because I'm leaving them behind <sighs> with not a lot to show for. You said honest? Yeah. I'm being honest. If yeah. it was your last day, would you be happy? I think I would. I think I would, and I didn't answer the, the what do you regret question, but every decision I take, every decision I make every single freaking day, I, I do it at 100%, no matter what. Even though I end up failing or whatever the fuck I do, it doesn't end up working out for me. Yeah. I know I gave my 100% on everything. Mm -hmm. So life has brought me to this moment because of decisions I've taken. And I don't regret anything, like I said, so I think I'm happy with that I think I'd be happy if this was my last day. I think I'd be happy. Today was your last day. Would you be happy? I wouldn't be happy just because the plans that I have for the future is set for the people I care about for them to be okay. Mm -hmm. And I have yet to accomplish that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, not to get so deep, but at least for myself, my life doesn't matter as much as the people that I care about and leaving a at least a good foundation for them to be successful, at least to be okay, at least to have something for them to be to fall back on. And I know it's not my job to do that, but it's something that I want, you know, that I want to do. So I wouldn't be happy just yet. That's right. That's right. I got, I got one for you, homeboy. Oh, you shit. haven't answered anything. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Where'd that come from? <laughs> that's not how it works. I'm going to hit you. I'm going to hit you with the one you hit me. All right. Are you holding on to something that you need to let go of? Oof. And if so, if it's not now, then when is it going to be? By Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> homeboy would not fucking let go of me. <laughs> I'm holding on to something that I should let go of. <laughs> I think I'm trying to hold on to the person I used to be yeah. and who everybody thought I was at one point in my life. But I believe when you go through, you go through pain, you go through loss, through loneliness, you become a person that you never thought you would become. And yeah, I'm just holding on to that person that I've, Everybody wants that, like, you're this. And I'm just, unfortunately, I'm not there. And unfortunately, because in a sense of, like, I wish I was still that person because you guys were happy, but I'm good right here. I know this is where I'm supposed to be. I know this is what God wanted for me. I know this is what power above wanted me to step into, to step into my own truth. Mm -hmm. To step into my truth has been the hardest thing, the hardest process ever in my life. Because I didn't want to. I was like, damn, that looks good. I want to be there one day. But I didn't know everything that had to come with it. And so I started walking towards that route. And I, and I saw everything that came with it. And I started seeing everything that was happening after, the repercussions. I said, man, is this really what I want to go to? But, um, yeah, just holding on to who I think I, was, I once was. And, yeah, I feel powerful. I, I am who I am. But because I was that person, I had these people around me. And sometimes I just miss that. Sometimes I just miss that person I was or those moments I was having. But we live in the present. Exactly. I look forward. I look to where I am now. My ten toes on the ground. Because today, tomorrow, I know this shit could be taken away from me. But I got to live with my truth. And it's a season. I'm in a selfish season. Because all this time, I gave my life to a lot of people. Everybody around me, I, I try to make everybody happy. 
And then when someone I needed saving in my life, no one fucking came. No one came. Like who do who do I depend on when no one when you depend on everybody everybody depends on you and no one comes to to help you, to save you. I'm here. I survived. And I'm still surviving. It's not an easy process, but I'm here. So when I so when I get to that point of am I hanging on to something? Yeah, I'm hanging on to something to someone I once was, but I'm hanging on to someone I'm going to be. And the person I'm going to be, maybe a lot, a lot of people may not like it because it doesn't involve them in my life anymore. But I know it's where I need to be and where God wanted me to be. We heard this today. Steve Harvey said it, man. Your gift is something you do with no effort, and you do it very well. Mm-hmm. I'm using my gift as, poss- as much as I possibly can, and my gift will, will open the gates for me. Wherever that leads to me, you know, mm-hmm. it's tough, dog. It's hard. No, fuck it. I live in I, we we live in a we live in a world where <clears throat> we everybody has to give in to make everybody else happy. So we like we le- we look at all these big influencers that have been in this industry for years, and then years pass by and they're fucking left alone, and they start talking about depression and mental health. They start talking about all this negative stuff that they had to go through. And even now, man, it, it, it sucks because there is, I just seen yesterday, there's a, a dad that's been a TikTok star, a dad, 40 years old, 50 years old, I don't know exactly, just committed suicide. How do you live with that? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, we got to live in our truth and we got to bring up topics that affect us now. So when we get to a position, hey, we've been doing this and we've been working on everything. We said this the other day with, with Andrew. Mm-hmm. We're building right now, right? We're still building. But it's like when you see a, a set of apartments or a house being built, what's the foundation? Yeah. What's the foundation look like? Is a foundation made up in fucking little stones, uh, straws? Is it made up of, of clay? What is it made out of? Is it going to hold on for a couple years, a couple months, or is it going to hold on for a ter- forever? That's the thing about us is that we've been building something that has taken a process of we built it, it broke down, we rebuilt it, it still fell, and now we're in the process of, all right, set the stones correctly. Make sure you put everything in the right place. Make sure everything is balanced and secure it. There's no time frame trying trying to be perfect. We'll never be perfect, but never. we're trying to be perfect. That's what makes us better. Yeah, that's 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 the part that we're in, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like we're we're talking from I'm talking from a place where hey, we're in this fucking process together. Pepe shared shared this with us in the mo- early at the beginning of this whole show. Like you're I'm, everything feels good, but I'm so fucking empty in my life. So what what happens? What do I do? I gotta change, but I can't change for you anymore. I gotta change for me. Mm-hmm. I've been changing my life so much for all these other people. Hey, what if, what if I wanted to change for me now? What does that come with? What's the repercussions? But I've always said, it, if we make an action today, right now, we know the repercussions that comes with this after. Am I okay with this? Can I live with this with this repercussion? And if I'm good with it, and if I can make amends with that repercussion that's about to come right after this, then I should make it. So that's the thing. I never made a choice in my life that I didn't know the repercussions of it. I know the repercussions that come with everything. But I'm okay with it, good or bad. Right? Like you're gonna you like just examples, right? Like you had to make choices. You had to make choices. You had to make choices. I myself had to make choices. As much as they may suck at that moment, I know what comes with I know what comes with the repercussion. I just been good, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, why are we all here today? Because we survived the week. We survived the days that we didn't know we were going to survive. Those days that we fucking battled ourselves, us ourselves fought hard enough for when power above let us wake up the next day. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and that's it. Like, we're surviving. We're survivors. We're, we're soldiers. Not everybody's going to come with us. Not everybody's going to understand this. I may may not understand one, two, and three people's struggles, but I can comprehend it. So if you need to take time away, that's cool. 
If you need to go work on yourself, that's fine. But just know when you come back, hey, we still good because I knew what you had to do. You know what I mean? Like, the thing about here is the the podcast, the podcast is not easy. Anybody that makes this shit looks easy and make it look glitz and glamour, yo, it's not easy because we got to take weekends off. We got to we gotta come. We got to make sure we fucking show up. But us showing up on a camera for an hour, hour and a half, it may not represent everything we've been going through. Not at all. But... We put up a, a smile. We put up, you know, right now it's good. Now we say, hey, we're in a safe zone. That's my safe zone. Mm-hmm. If you could put, if you guys can picture or paint a picture of your safe zone, what would that look like? <clears throat> Honestly, I would say here, to be honest. Like, here, just like, even though I'm here listening to what you're saying, I'm also thinking about, like, my own life. Like, that episode with, when we went to San Diego with Chris and, uh, all the other guys, um, Gino, Gino, Mondo. yeah, exactly. All of them. That that was like one of the episodes. Was like, damn, I was one of the episodes. I really cried. I was really like zoning in. But every episode, I'm just like, just thinking of everything. Right, like this is my safe zone. As much as the gym is, like I'm such a gym, big gym person that the I can compare this to the gym. So it's like th- I would say this in the gym will be my safe zone. What was I gonna say? Go for a homeboy. <laughs> You're still thinking? How I'm bitch. still thinking. <laughs> no, not that I'm still thinking. I'm just. No, I get what Jose was saying. <clears throat> Here. So, I came in what last year, sometime in July. And ever since then, like it's the place where I can just be myself and be accepted for being myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, zero judgment, just say what I want to say. And uh, even though, like, I'm scared of the cameras, it's like you forget about the cameras because I'm surrounded by people who are just good people all together and makes me forget pretty much everything else going on. So. I love that, bro. Appreciate that. I didn't paint your perfect picture, um, brother. Shit. I don't know, bro. Um, my save zone would be... And we always fucking do this, bro, in the truck with you. Just oh, chilling, dog. Man. Not like that. Anywhere. Come out as well. My whoa, safe whoa, zone, whoa, whoa, my whoa. Safe zone is anywhere yeah, you had to pull that is. up. What the fuck? <laughs> this guy. My nah, safe nah, zone we is always, anywhere you on, are. Bro. Come on. We're, we're uh, always... That's all, we're, I that's all I heard. Every, every time we... Not that we open up to each other, but every time we, we have very, very good conversations is we're driving somewhere in the truck. In this truck. And that to me is like fucking open, free zone for me to, to vent. To let my emotions out to everything, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, it would be it would be driving somewhere in the truck with you, or just kicking in the truck, just chilling, bro. And um, I have another safe zone over there too, <laughs> but uh, yeah. we'll get that some other time. <laughs> <laughs> now, and I hope everybody that is listening to this, like, they start thinking about their own safe zone. What does mm-hmm. that look like? Is it the gym? Is it in your room listening to music, writing in your diary or whatever it is? Is it with a group of friends? Is it with your significant other? It doesn't have to be the most ideal place, but it has to be your own place. Mm. So they got to think about that. You got to think about that. And and the in these in these places, like again, how we how we were just saying, and it's one of the things where like right now, when I'm in this place, no matter if everything outside is burning. I'm fine. I'm good. So when people walk into the gym, are you letting go of everything that's once happening? As soon as you check in or scan your code, are you good? Nothing else matters. That's the point to this. Does nothing matter for that minute, for that hour, for the fucking two hours you're there? Does what matters? The moment. Okay, then that's your zone. Mm -hmm. Where you can feel vulnerable. You can you can be yourself. Let go, right? And that's just what this is. Again, this is mental health month. So if you haven't made that choice for yourself, you got you to gotta do it now. Find your zone. Find your moment. Take it on and work on you. It's going to be fucking hard. Let's start it off. It's going to be hard. It's not going to be easy. You're going to go through a personality death that you probably never imagined could happen. The person you once was is not the person you are today and not the one you're going to be after you go through this. 
you're gonna go through that darkness, you're gonna go through that fucking dark cloud, that dark storm. But like Inky Johnson said, once you go through that dark storm, the person that comes out of that storm, it's not the same one that entered it. Exactly. Why? Because now there's there was you went through all this pain, you went through these these bruises, bumps and bruises and punches, and you got kicked on the floor and all this shit. But you still managed to get back up. That's the thing. No matter how bad this shit, you got to get up. True. I don't give a fuck how you feel. We said this before. I don't give a fuck how you feel. <laughs> give, you I don't care how up. you feel. Yep. You, you can have the, the worst up. thing ever happen to you right now. But you got to get up. Let's mm-hmm. get up. Give yourself 24 hours. Give yourself an hour. Give yourself whatever the case. But you got to get up and do not be a victim of your own life. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Surroundings. Yeah. And... You know how we are, bro. We always leave with fucking some. I was gonna ask you a question, homeboy. We're not. Right. We're not finished just yet. Oh shit! Hold Here we go. I want to ask one too. You, you made your question into oh, like a two-hour. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> oh damn. Um, because right now I think in, I think in here you're the only dad. I'd say. Mm-hmm. I think so. Think so. Um, yeah, I just what, no, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Never mind. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why you guys look that way? Why you guys look that way? Whoa! Because that's also that. That's also that. Oh, your dad? Oh, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, but. It includes both of you guys. Okay. Um, for all those dads out there that are that feel the same as you, that they don't have anyone, that are struggling with mental health, what would you tell them, bro? For all those freaking dads out there, bro, you're not you're not the only one out here, bro. You gotta like like we bro, we were we were in the car earlier listening to Steve Harvey, bro. Why me? Well, you're not the only one, you know. So, um, what would you, what would you tell them, bro? <clears throat> I know it's I know it's hard. I know some days you want to quit. I know some days you feel like you're not enough and you're not being the best person, you're not being the best dad. But this shall pass. This moment shall pass. I know you want to be there. I know you feel like you're the only one that needs to get things make this happen. Yeah, I mean, spit it out, homeboy. Spit it out. You got this. You got this, dog. You got a. You have a lot of days that you just don't feel worthy. You feel you have like a lot of days where, man, my kids would never be proud of me, or my kids will have some sort of resentment. But um, you know, you got to battle, and you got to you know live in your truth, and you got to battle for them. Quitting is an option, but it's not the option that's gonna. Su- Solve everything and anything. Battle. Take a breath. It's okay. It's gonna. It's gonna work out at the end of the day. And as long as you do what's best for you and your family, your kids, like you'll be all right. Like it. It works out. Like I'm. It's. It's a. It's a daily battle. But for all the dads listening out there, bro, like you matter, dog. Like you matter. No matter what anybody says, no matter anybody's judgment that they may have on you, you fucking matter. You made the choice. You, you've been going to work every day. You've been getting up every morning as much as you didn't want to get up. And you did. And some days when you go to sleep, when you try to go to sleep, I know those demons talk to you. Hey, don't, don't ever let them win. Pray. Believe you will do better. Believe in, in tomorrow. And look forward to tomorrow. And when you see your little your kids... Know that they look up to dad and know that they, they're thankful for what you have done and you'll be able to explain your journey when the time indicator comes. <laughs> Fucking guy. Fuck yeah, guy. How are you? <laughs> My turn. A little bit right there. Because you asked us a question. Okay. <clears throat> uh, podcast aside, if today was your last day on earth, how would you be spending it? Podcast aside... I don't want to hear anything. I don't want to hear anything about the podcast, you know? If today was your last day on if earth, to, how would you be spending it? If today was my last day, I believe I would be spending my day, obviously, with my kids, with my loved ones. I would not change the people that are here today because they are my circle. They are my, my rocks. 
if today was my last day, I would want to be surrounded by my loved ones. And I would love to be surrounded in a place where nothing else matters, our safe zone. We could be us. And today, I could talk about today in heaven and how great this was. I live in my truth. Today was my last day. I'm walking away. I'm okay. But how he said, how Jose said, and how you said, I hope when that day comes, I leave I leave more to who I am. So when I'm X amount of feet under, I'm remembered for what I did do and not for what I could have done. And I'm remembered for all the impact that I made and not what I could have made. And I'm remembered for what I did and not what, what I could have done. That's my thing. I love every single one of y'all, and I love this. I love my process. I love my journey. Mm -hmm. I would not change this for the world. It comes, with, it comes with a lot more. This journey comes with a lot more, but I would not change this for, for the world because this came with saving. This came with truth. This came with opening fucking doors to a lot of shit that we never knew. And it came with opening stuff in our own personal lives that I never knew to even talk about or even bring up. But it came with helping others. And Nipsey Hussle said it first. Success is measured by how many people you did help and not by, them, not by what you have. And us as a team, as us, we've been helping a lot. So if, damn, 26, can we, can we, can we squeeze in what... A quote, a little quote, oh, real quick. Damn. Anybody? Sheesh. I'm not tired. Real quick, yeah, quote. Yeah. Quote of the day, what is it? Fuck, the guy from the Uber told me a freaking quote at the end of the freaking ride. I forgot about it. <clears throat> Shit, hold on. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Hold that bit, what would it be? It's not a complete quote, but I read it somewhere. It's, um... Like if when you when you're alone and you don't learn anything, the whole lonely process, you you didn't learn. I I I can't quote it because I just don't remember. Say how you say how you feel. If you didn't study, you didn't learn, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like you need to learn to be okay within yourself when you're alone, in order to be okay within yourself when you're around friends. Like, you're not alone, but let's go with the first one. <laughs> let's go with the first I can't. I love that, though. That's, that's amazing. Pepe? I'm going to tie it back to that question about uh, if today was my last day. Uh -huh. Don't leave this earth without telling all the people you love that you love them. Hell, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. True. Um, I don't think it's a quote, but it kind of piggybacks off what he said. Like, tomorrow's not promised, bro. So, I mean, you got to give it out to today, bro. You got to tell the people that you love, you love them, because tomorrow's not promised. You never know what's going to go on tomorrow. You never know if tomorrow you don't wake up. And pretty much, bro, just you give it like your all today, because tomorrow's not promised, man. Entonces. <laughs> super, super. Size 13 or what? Size 13 being ours, size 13. All right, so, I mean, I wanted to end this on, on our terms. Oh, man, something just told me, like, this is what you got to do in, um, like, if power above is hearing us, God, if you're hearing us. Thank you for allowing us to be here. Thank you for putting your arm on our shoulder when we didn't want to keep going. Thank you for giving us your power and your strength for allowing us to keep on living our life the way we need to and giving us the confidence even though we didn't ever have that confidence present. Thank you for giving us that reassurance that we needed in our life when we knew we couldn't give that to ourselves. So with that, I want to appreciate all y'all for listening in. I want to appreciate every single one for tuning in. 
this podcast today episode was brought to you by Vibes and Vibras. Oh, just, how I, we I do? I was like, who the fuck are we shouting at? <laughs> 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 I was gonna say ball <laughs> from the yak. <laughs> from the yak. I was like, I didn't see everybody. no check, homeboy. You better not say shit. <laughs> but um, nah, man. I think today was today was one of those podcasts where it rolled the way it needed to roll. It was started emotional. It went to fucking funny. It came to laughing at each other. Fucking dick. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and it, eh? it came down to giving our, our heart into these answers that we needed. So, um, man, we're looking forward to 100K. We're looking forward to 20K. We're looking Get forward it. to what is half a million tomorrow because, again, life continues <clears throat> and we don't stop. We don't miss. True. A single Monday. A single Monday. 5 a.m., you're here. And for everybody t- listening in outside of 5 a.m., we appreciate every single one of y'all. Everybody got a cup? You guys all good? You guys all got cups? Yeah. I didn't even finish what it was. Bam, bam. What was in my cup? I just so. pretend. Well, a toast to everybody. A toast, a toast to everybody listening in. Pour toast me up. Life. We don't miss. You already know. Pour me up. That's right. There we are. There we go. One more episode, baby. Let's get it. Let's do this.